time do you make it? Ten past two. They call me Fitz. What do they call you? I don't know. Bloodthirsty, murdering bastard. Remember filling this in? Yeah. Who's the British Prime Minister? I don't know. I had to guess. You guessed wrong. I gave you three choices. You guessed wrong. I'm sorry. That's understandable. The President of the United States gave three choices. You got it wrong. I'm sorry. It's understandable, really. The leader of the Labour Party, three choices got it wrong. The standard rate of income tax, three choices got it wrong. The Chancellor of the Exchequer, the manager of the England football team, the author of Cash 22 and the capital of Sweden, all wrong. Sorry. You will be. You see, that is definitely not understandable. You could close your eyes and stick a pin in, and you'd be bound to get at least two right. The odds against getting them all wrong are huge. I think I did it on purpose. Yes? I didn't. Who cares? Nobody ever loses their memory. It just gets locked away like the mad woman in the attic. Occasionally you hear a scream, but you daren't unlock the door and have a look in, am I right? There's a great sadness in your life. This crime of yours, in the grand scheme of things, is nothing. It's nature. Nature knows. Men have to penetrate women or the species dies. Now, with all that at stake, do you really think nature cares how we do it? Whether we say please or thank you? Whether she's willing? Hmm? Sex crimes. A little of what nature requires taken to excess. Murder too. Healthy aggression taken a little to excess. I'm saying I understand. Yes? Yes. They'll crucify you for it, of course. You know why? Because you've gone and done exactly what they've always wanted to do deep down in their hearts. Murdered, butchered, raped. They'll look at you and they'll be looking deep into their own hearts and it will terrify them. They'll crucify you out of fear. Not out of decency or justice or anything like that. Out of fear. I disagree. You're walking down the corridor in the train. You go past her compartment. She's sitting there. Young, beautiful, alone, vulnerable. Everything a woman should be. She's reading a book. She's got her legs crossed. She's showing maybe an inch, maybe two of thigh. Warm, soft, smooth, white thigh. You pull open the door. Her eyes flicker. She doesn't look up from her book. You sit down opposite her. You look at her. She can feel you staring at her. She just stares even harder into her book, but you know that she's not really reading it. Her legs start shaking to the rhythm of the train. And you want to put your hand up there on that soft white thigh. Just to stop it from shaking. If you did that, she'd look at you. She'd smile. She'd know. She'd just know. So you get up and you open the window. And your legs brush hers and she makes a little movement and she shows a little bit more thigh, perhaps. And you sit down beside her closer this time, and you can smell her perfume. And the blood's pumping through her throat. And it's making the little silver crucifix around her neck shake and catch the light a little. And she's everything a woman should be. Alone. Vulnerable. So you say something. And she looks up from her book. She gives you a yes or a no answer, and then goes straight back to the book. She's dismissed you. She's dismissed you the way every woman has always dismissed you. Well, you show her. And even the train's urging you on. Kill the bitch, 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 kill the bitch. They're all the same, aren't they? Huh? With their white thighs and their smooth white shoulders and necks. 
But underneath it all, there are blood and filth and stench and hair. Tatty, matted, disfiguring hair. Kill the bitch. 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 Kill the bitch! Is that how it was? Is that how it was? Is it? It's you who needs the psychologist.